Well, my name is Pastor Hal York, and welcome to Truth in the Trenches. Today we're going to be in Proverbs chapter 24, verse 26, where we read, He kisses the lips who gives the right answer. That's the New American Standard. The English Standard Version says, Whoever gives an honest answer kisses the lips. Another version says, He kisses the lips who responds with right words. I think obviously all of those say basically the same thing, but I think it's quite obvious that the wisdom the writer is seeking to convey is that a right answer or an honest answer, right words are compared to a kiss. But not just any kind of kiss. There are different kinds of kisses, obviously. Paul told the church in Corinth, I believe it was, to greet one another with a holy kiss. Some cultures greet one another with a kiss. But it's usually a kiss on the cheek or the forehead. We kiss our children goodnight. We, when we put them to bed or we send them off to school, we give them a kiss. A kiss is a show of affection. But none of those kisses I just described are the kind of kiss Solomon talks about in this verse. We generally don't greet people by kissing them on the lips. We don't generally kiss our children on the lips. A kiss on the lips is normally reserved for people who are deeply in love or married. A kiss on the lips is a sign of deep affection, not just a greeting. It's a sign of deep love between two people. It's far more pleasing and enjoyable than a peck on the cheek or forehead. It touches you. It moves you. It's a sign this person who has kissed you in this way cares deeply about you, and you've returned that kiss to say the same thing. Many couples can remember that first kiss. Why? Because of what it conveyed about how they felt about each other. A kiss on the lips is touching. It's memorable. It's meaningful. It's a sign of deep affection and commitment. And Solomon compares that to an honest answer. Whoever gives an honest answer implies that this person has been asked a question. We all ask questions. Have you ever asked a question and been given the runaround or given a wrong answer or a veiled answer or no answer whatsoever, just a lot of words? It always feels like more, than a, more like a slap in the face than a kiss on the lips, doesn't it? They're not taking you or your ser question seriously enough to care to give a good answer. Their answer is insulting, it's belittling, and it's demeaning. It's not right. It's not honest, but it's devious or distorted and of little value and if acted upon could cause you harm or greatly mislead you. There's something refreshing, something endearing about an honest answer, a right answer. Maybe it's because it's so rare. But these people cared enough to be honest and straightforward, even if it may hurt a little bit. Proverbs 27, 6 says, Faithful are the wounds of a friend. But this honest answer on the lips of the responder matches the question on the lips of the one asking. And it makes it as pleasing and as satisfying to the emotions as if their lips were kissing. Wisdom instructs us to express our devotion to those we love by giving straightforward, right, honest answers. The words that pass over our lips should convey the same message as the kisses that are bestowed by our lips. Scripture warns that a kiss can be used as a weapon. It takes people off guard and sends a false message meant to disarm. Proverbs 27, 6, we just read, Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but, the deceitful, but deceitful are the kisses of an enemy. And certainly the classic example of that would have been Judas, who betrayed Jesus with a kiss, with a sign of affection. Proverbs says a lot about wisdom. And it gives us a wonderful description of God's wisdom in Proverbs chapter 8, verses 8 to 9. Listen to these words. God says, All the words of my mouth are righteousness. There is nothing twisted or crooked in them. They are all straightforward to him who understands and right to those who find knowledge. God's wisdom will never lead us astray. May we seek to model by God's grace and power these qualities as well in our talk with our loved ones. In a world filled with deceit, dishonesty, pat answers, veiled answers, no answers, wrong answers, words that are twisted to veil the truth, Christians should shine. We should shine in our homes, in our marriages, in our families, in our workplaces, people who speak what is right and what is honest and what is true. It's a sign of love to God, and it's a sign of love to others. He kisses the lips who gives an honest answer. May that truth guide us and guard us today in the trenches of life as we seek to live our lives for the glory of God and the good of others. May God bless.